if you're going to be single, we have to be single the right way, okay? <laughs> Dating yourself is very important. You want to figure out who you are as a person and do that inner work so you can be a better version of yourself and also be able to have something to offer for your next partner. What's up y'all it's your girl quay and i'm back with another video so y'all in this video i just want to give tips on how to date yourself and why dating yourself is important so yeah y'all i was that girl who kept a boyfriend okay like i always had someone to talk to i stayed in a relationship like I was just in that fear of being alone like and that's pretty normal like there's a lot of people out there who stay in relationships who always have someone to talk to and it's honestly really out of the fear of being alone so yeah y'all and that's very dangerous okay <laughs> because you're really crippling yourself from personal growth like you're really crippling yourself on finding out who you really are, what really makes you happy. And you're pouring more into someone else instead of pouring into yourself. And y'all, that is totally fine, pouring into other people. But sis, you can't pour from an empty cup, okay? So yeah, y'all, and that's pretty much the main reason why dating yourself is really important because... You can't give your energy to other people if you don't know who you are as a person, you know? So dating yourself, you're pretty much pouring into yourself, finding out who you really are as a person, what makes you happy, just figuring out you. And once you know who you are and once you love yourself and know what you have to offer, sis, you'll be good. Like you'll be attracting so many good men in your life, okay? So yeah, y'all, if y'all want to know these tips on how to date yourself and why dating yourself is important, then just keep on watching. So y'all, the most important thing about dating yourself is you'll have that chance to stay true to you because you're dating yourself, like you're spending time with yourself. So you have no choice but to stay true to you. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much the first thing you have to do to stay true to yourself is figure out your aesthetic. Like, are you a girly girl? Are you a tomboy? Are you like the hippie bohemian type of girl? Um, For me, I honestly feel like I'm all three. Like, I'm a girly girl, but I'm overall a tomboy. Like, I was for real a tomboy when I was younger, but the older I got, the more I started being girly. But I'm really a tomboy. But your girl do love to step out and get dressed up and look real cute, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I, I consider myself a sexy tomboy. So yeah, I'm a sexy tomboy. And I feel like I have a sprinkle of hippie bohemian type of vibe. Like I love my locks. I I love like big hair. I love like baggy type of clothing. So yeah, I feel like I'm all three in a way. So you just have to figure out what's your aesthetic. And I feel like once you figure out what your aesthetic is, everything else just flows from there. So yeah. So yeah, once you figure out like who you are, like if you're a girly girl, tomboy, hippie, or pretty much all three like me, that's when you will figure out your aesthetic and how you like to dress so that's pretty much my second tip and it flows from the first one so once you know who you are for real it will start to show in your aesthetic by the way you dress and the way you carry yourself um and i feel like that's very important when you're dating yourself because like i said you want to be true to you so once you figure out who you are and your aesthetic and how you like to dress, that's when you will figure out what type of dates you like, like what type of atmosphere you want to be around. So for me, I feel like I'm in my grown and sexy state now. Um, I'm not really a fan of going clubbing or out in bars and stuff. Maybe I'm just saying that because I don't have friends, but I don't know. I feel like even if I did have friends, 
I wouldn't be out in the club and all that. Like, I'd be chilling for real. So, so for me, like, I like grown and sexy type of places. So, I like restaurants that's, like, chill, serve wine. They playing some nice music, like R&B or jazz. Um, yeah, shit. Take me to a sports bar. Like, I love sports, particu particularly basketball. Like, I love to watch basketball. So, even a sports bar date would be cool for me. Like, um, your girl loves to play pool. So, I love going to pool halls. Um, I guess that's the tomboy in me. Um, but yeah, I just like chill stuff. Like, yeah. And I like to have fun, too. I'm very adventurous, low-key a kid at heart. So I love theme parks. Like, I love roller coasters. Like, if you take me to a theme park or an amusement park, like, I'm going to fall in love, okay? <laughs> like, I love fun type of dates. Like, that club scene, I don't know, maybe because I was in college, too, and I'm all partied out. I don't know, but that's just not my type of vibe no more. But yeah, y'all, your girl just be chilling, okay? So you just got to find out what type of atmosphere you want to be around and what you like. So, yeah. And once you figure out what type of dates you like and what's your type of atmosphere, pretty much you've spent a lot of time by yourself at that point. So, and I feel like once you spend more time with yourself, you will start to gain new hobbies that you like to enjoy. And I feel like that's important as well. And that is tip number four. So pretty much having hobbies. Sis, once you have hobbies at that point, you won't really be pressed about being alone for real because your hobbies is bringing you so much joy and so much happiness. So I feel like at that point of your journey, you will be good. Like, you know who you are as a person. You know what type of atmosphere you would want to be around. And sis, you got hobbies. Once you're happy with yourself and who you are, you pretty much at peace and you ain't worried about nobody else for real. And nobody will be able to interrupt that because you've already built a solid foundation within you. You know what I'm saying? So now at that point, you can start pouring into other people and it won't be a burden on you because your cup is full. You have a lot to offer at this point. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much all my tips on how to date yourself now i'm going to talk about why dating yourself is important because at this point now you have more to offer so yeah y'all now that you have something to offer i'm pretty sure your money is good sis at this point you've been focusing on yourself you've been dating yourself all your focus has been on you so if you don't have no money at this point sis what you been doing <laughs> okay so yeah so yeah, y'all, so this is pretty much the independent woman era, but I feel like it's starting to get toxic now in a way. There's a lot of women feeling like they don't need a man at this point, which is okay, but then it's not because everybody needs somebody, okay? Like we're trying to live our soft girl era, okay? Like, and in order to do that, you need a good man by your side, like, Living in, living in your soft era, truly, you want to be taken care of, okay? Like, you want to live in your feminine. You want to be taken care of. So, yeah, it's okay to be an independent woman just in case shit hit the fan and you got something to fall back on. Like, you got your own money. But when you with a good man and you want to live in your feminine, you got to let that man take care of you, sis, okay? Have your own money. But... We gonna spend his, okay? <laughs> but it's very important to have your own money because a man does not want a bill. He wants an investment. And y'all will know what I mean by that towards the end of this video because it'll all make sense in the end. But once again, a man wants an investment, not a bill. I'm sorry if y'all feel some type of way about that, but that's just facts. Like, just like women want what they want, men want what they want as well. So... That's the reality. So yes, sis, at this point in your journey, you should have money. So just in case of shit hit the fan, you good, okay? So yeah, another thing you would have to offer at this point is your own ideas. Having your own ideas, having your own mind is so important. 
no man want a me too type of woman okay like please have your own mind okay like yes you want your man to lead but you should also have a mind of your own because you don't want to let a man to lead you in the wrong direction okay so having your own mind is so important and also having your own mind is so attractive men love that okay men love when a woman has her own mind like that just shows that you're not gullible okay <laughs> So, yes, at this point in your journey, when you have things to offer, you will most definitely have your own ideas because you spent so much time with yourself that you pretty much have your own morals, have your own values, have your own ideas and etc. And that is so sexy to a man. OK, we don't want to be an airhead out here. <laughs> we don't want to be that me too, girl. Like we want to have a mind of our own. OK. And y'all, most importantly, this is the last thing that you should have to offer at this point of your journey, okay? You should have emotional intelligence to offer, okay? No one wants to be around a crazy person. No one wants to deal with your broken wounds that someone else has done to you. No one wants to be around that toxic energy, that toxic atmosphere. Someone wants to be around a healed person, okay? A healed person wants to be around a healed person, okay? That's the only way you will attract good people, good men in your life is if you're a healed individual. So at this point of your journey, sis, you should at this point have emotional intelligence, okay? So emotional intelligence will pretty much be that you're self-aware, you're self-regulated, you're motivated, you have empathy, and you have social skills. Those five things are very important for emotional intelligence. And that would be a whole nother video, y'all. But yes, yes, I know a lot of men don't have that, but that that's a whole nother video too. But yeah, y'all, emotional intelligence is very important, especially that self-awareness. If you ain't aware of yourself, <laughs> sis, you not gonna grow, okay? So yeah, y'all, emotional awareness, that would be another video that I filmed because that is such a broad subject and very in-depth and I want to give y'all a deep explanation of why emotional intelligence is important. So yeah, y'all. So yeah, y'all, after everything that I said, I feel like it should make more sense of why I said a man wants an investment not a bill. I feel like once you follow these steps in this video, you will be an investment. Like you know who you are. You have ideas to offer. And think about it. Ideas build creation. So think deeply about that. Okay. So not only do you have ideas to offer, you have your own money. Okay. You have that to offer. So if shit hits the fan, he can depend on you but if you have a good man in your life, he will bounce back, okay? Y'all won't ever have to worry about struggling, okay? Because you got your own money and he got his. So y'all just not depending on one person, if that makes sense. So yeah, y'all. And also, you have emotional intelligence. He has to know that when you're under pressure and when you're not in a happy space at the moment, you will know how to get out of that yourself. Because sometimes he won't know how to help you in every situation emotionally. Like sometimes you will have to do that yourself. You can't depend on someone else to be your everything. Like you have to make sure that you are your everything. So yeah, y'all, that's what I meant by you want to be an investment, not a bill. Because you want to help your man grow just like he wants to help you grow. It's a it's a balance. So yeah, y'all, so if a man that you're talking to doesn't see that you have all of these qualities and that you're an investment, it's not you, it's him. He's not healed. He needs to work on him. So if you have all of these qualities and you're still having trouble in the dating world, sis, it's not you. You're a whole investment. It's him. He's probably, you're probably making this man insecure. You're probably making him feel less masculine because you have your shit together and he doesn't. So yeah, y'all, that's on him. 
you're a whole investment out here, okay? So yeah, y'all, you wanna be an investment, not a bill. But that pretty much sums up this video. I hope this was very helpful for y'all. And I hope y'all realize like dating yourself is so important. And this is not only for women. Like I feel like men can relate to this too. Cause I mean like dating yourself is dating yourself. And I feel like if you're gonna be single, we have to be single the right way, okay? <laughs> we have to be out here single the right way. So dating yourself is very important. You want to figure out who you are as a person and do that inner work so you can be a better version of yourself and also be able to have something to offer for your next partner. So yeah, y'all. If y'all found this video was helpful, please give your girl a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.